Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new to another World of Outlaws Dirt Racing Career Mode episode. We're in season two of our street stocks here in the middle of the season. We're second in points right now. Had a great beginning of the season. Got second, third, and then sixth at the showcase, which was really, really solid for us. But we're going on to Sterling County, Lima Land, and Fairbury in this episode. We just finished getting the uh level four suspension fully upgraded so that's going to help us out a lot now we're just saving up money either for this next chassis if we're going to need it but if uh unless we can win this championship then we're just saving up the money for the next car honestly so probably going to run the umps next i think those would be a lot of fun umps or big blocks something like that but uh we're going to get on to sterling county here and see how we could do all right, nearly got a second faster than the uh, practice goal there, but we're only a top 15 practice goal for now because of our sponsorship was either win or like top, it was either like, it was either top five or win, and then top 15 was the next one. So I went with top 15, but a 12-7 is the poll time, which is not too crazy of a time at, it, at all. Ran really well though, I was able to rip the bottom figured out that I really just need to keep the car super straight through the corner instead of like whipping it in as much as I was. So we'll see if I can do that here. Try to keep the car straight, get the car onto the outside here. Do the same thing this corner as well. Just trying to keep the car straight instead of getting too sideways and slowing down our time. 12-1 is pretty solid. I'm happy with that because our fastest before here was a 12-3. So we definitely got a lot faster with that suspension upgrade. 12 126 and that puts us on the pole. Wow. I feel like we ran pretty good here last season, but I don't think we, we were like a top 10, uh, maybe not a top five car. I feel like we ran well, but I don't remember being that good. I, I remember being in the qualifying dash, but I don't know where we finished. It could have been right around a top five car. I don't 100% remember, but we barely got the pole there above Kylie, like 300s or so. But that just means that we have to hit our marks so well for the uh, race as well. But not a super li hard line to hit as long as there's no cars in front of you. So that could be a positive starting out front for us. We'll have to see how the qualifying dash goes. As long as somebody can't get under me into a corner, I think we'll be pretty good to go. I could honestly almost cut that corner even further if I can keep the car straight. I could almost cut it all the way down to like the inside barrier, but I'm not even going to attempt that. Not in the race, at least. If I was in practice, I might have tried it, but didn't really know how fast we were because I knew we were well above our top 15 time, but I did not think that would put us on pole, honestly. We hit like an 033 in practice, too, so it was faster than qualifying, which is really nice to see. So we got more speed out of it than we need, which is really good. I don't, I don't think I made any uh, adjustments to the setup from what I had last season. I don't even know what I did last season to it, honestly probably the slightest bit of tire stagger i usually take that most of the way if not all the way down and then i just mess with like the left weight and the rear rate that's it that's the only like three things i mess with at all but that's going to get us the heat win and we were pretty far ahead of everybody else too which is pretty wild so i'm happy with that who finished second tommy bailey and we were like nearly three seconds ahead of him that is pretty wild so i have some good feelings about this race at least which is nice We'll see if we can try to hold off Kylie here. Seems like the starts are a little weird for me because it really wants to throw me out into the car on my outside. Try not to get too sideways right off the bat because we're on like a lower lane going into turn one. Just trying to keep up that speed as much as we can. This track's a little tricky just trying to keep it straight, but it's such like a hard U-turn, like hairpin, that... You kind of just have to throw it in there, but at the same time, to keep it straight, you got to, like, really try to straighten it out because it wants to go around on you very easily. But look at that. We already got a second and a half on Jesse Cross and Kylie, which is wild. She's ripping the top. So we're pulling away, like, mid-corner. She is gaining a ton on the straightaway right there, running that top. Then she goes down to the bottom. Okay, so they seem like they're faster up top than they are on bottom. When they come down to the bottom, I'm faster than them for sure. So... That is quite interesting to see as well. So I'm going to have to pay attention to second place when they're running the top and all that. I just have to make sure I block it off for an exit or like the entry of the next corner. Yeah, once they get so close to us, they just kind of run bottom with us, which is a little weird. You think that they would be catching us up top, they just stay up top, but they do not. 
So we're going to start on pole here in the feature for the first time in our Street Stock series, which is nice. Might have a chance at our first win. Who are we battling with in the points? It's Schneencloth. He's in first. Okay, so he's starting in eighth. Being on the outside, it seems like they're fast on the outside, but might lose spots off the start here. We'll have to see. Hopefully we can get a good start. I really wasn't expecting to be doing this good this season. I thought it would take three seasons maybe for the uh, street stocks, honestly, to win the championship. Because we had a lot of money to start out with, so our first season was a million times better than we were in the micros. It took us a long time in the micros to get good. We were getting battled by Samantha Bell behind us, but we were able to get a really good launch off of turn two there. Kind of like I lost my train of thought as, as I saw Samantha Bell like nose on the inside of us right there in turn one and two earlier. We got what, 15 laps? So a pretty fast race here with the laps being like 13 seconds long. I would think this track would be like an 18 to 20, something like that, but I don't know. This one they have at 15 laps for some reason. And the other ones they have at like 18 and 20 for the most part. I think Grant Park's the only other one that they have at 15. Which we were pretty fast at Grant Park. I think that might be in next episode, honestly. So that's exciting. But I think we finished third there last year. Could be wrong. I think it was top five, but I think it was third if I remember correctly. But yeah, as long as I don't see Schneencloth in the top five, I'll be really happy trying to pull away from him in points. If oh, as I say that, he moves up in the fourth in point or fourth on the standings. And I, I'd hope I could finish better than uh, Kylie. The farther she ends up back, the better, because she's third in points that we've been super tight to this entire time. Now this is going to be the interesting part: lap traffic. We got like half a second to a second lead right now, so we have a good lead. We're halfway through this race. The lap traffic's gonna be the hardest thing for us to manage. I'm hoping they just go high or I can get under them and they'll kind of push their way up by like by themselves. But the more that get down in front of me, I think the worse because Samantha Bell is getting through this lap traffic a little bit better than us right now. As I say that, I think she got caught behind somebody there for a second. I just don't want to spin any of them out to have a restart and I do not want to spin myself out to have a restart and be further on back. Jesse Wright slowly catching us as well. I can't get my car like super straight in the corners like I want. When I'm entering on the bottom down there, very tough to do so. But we're doing pretty good at getting through this lap traffic. Not amazing, but we're doing good enough to keep Samantha Bell behind us. Jesse Wright has caught Samantha now. They're actually battling side by side behind us. We're three wide here off of turn two. Eric Erickson running that top side, ripping it. We should be able to slide up in front of him here. Jesse Wright is now getting to our inside. I really just got to protect this bottom at all costs because uh, he is actually really fast right now. I don't see Sneencloth or Kylie in the top five, which is awesome for us to the points. Getting some other people up there, stealing points from other people, which is awesome. Because Sneencloth won that showcase race, I believe, at Kokomo. And that shot him ahead of us because we finished like six, so we didn't have a great one. But final lap here, final corner. We're gonna be able to hold off everybody and get our first win in the street stocks. That is awesome. That is huge for us in the points. And uh, that's gonna probably propel us here into first place in the points as well. I see Schneencloth got sixth and Kylie got ninth. Nice. So. We are going to be in a, a lot ahead of them now because we were like four or six behind Schneencloth, I think. That does jump us up in the first. We get 12 points on him and almost 20, 18 points on Kylie there. So that is huge. We're 18 points ahead of Kylie now. Or no, we're 20 points ahead of Kylie because she was two points behind us, I guess. And we're six ahead of Schneencloth now. So we jumped him, got our first win of our career, and we're taking the points lead. That is amazing. We get $4,000 for the payout. Not a super high payout, but a lot of merch sold. So we're getting some wins, and we're starting to get the money rolling in now in this street stock season. We got an achievement and some money. Uh, reach world. Oh, we got enough uh, skill points to reach the World of Outlaws series. That's pretty funny. So now we can get the super late model in the 410s, which is quite, uh, quite funny. Because we have so much skill points, but we've only gone through one and we're on our second uh, series now. But we're almost at $10,000 now in the bank, which is nice. Trying to rack up the money if we can. Man, I wish I would have picked that win goal now because that would have been really nice. Uh, we went at Sterling County, a wild victory celebration. Danced on top of the car. The best guitar work anyone has ever seen. Very nice. Love to see it. Oh, we get another 
and uh we're an outlaw yes so our skills have reached the very top we can go to the outlaw series now but we're not going to get there anytime soon just saying it's going to be quite a while until we go up into uh the world of outlaw range now see the thing is winning for five races that's probably not reasonable i'm gonna go with top 10 because i don't even know if we'll get another win in this season like we are fast yes but i don't i'm not banking on us winning any races we'll just get the late mile because those are my favorite anyways but we'll end up getting the 410 very soon regardless so it doesn't look like there's another skill point gap like to get up which is interesting because we're over a hundred thousand it just stayed at a hundred thousand so i don't know what's going on there let's fully repair our parts so we do have enough money to do that now we do take the points lead which is awesome let's go on to lima land where we did flip ourselves last season on the uh, tires at the bottom but i think we we're running close to a top 10 so i think we're like decently quick here but with the uh, suspension upgrade hopefully that made us a lot faster now all right we got down to a low five which was a couple tenths faster than what i had previously which is really nice top 10 goal is just just about as quick as we just ran so that's going to be quite tough to hit i did move my ride height up like an inch to maybe help going over these tires because i could like really get that inside line working as long as i can go over the tires without hitting them like as long as they don't affect me that was a terrible entry into turn one this first lap is not going to be any good i'm not going to like this going to kind of reset for lap number two try and get the speed down the straightaway once again get that nice turn in we were maxing out there didn't hit the tire which is good we're right over it i did a handful of laps in practice with this and i didn't hit the tire i kind of went right over it every time so hopefully that stays that way ran a 614 a little slower than what we needed like a tenth slower than what we needed starting third though in heat four so starting in third i have hair in my mouth but starting third i might be able to get up to second quite quick who's on the outside schneen cloth oh boy we got samantha bell and schneen cloth on our heat so tough heat draw for us with how they qualified but i'm hoping i could rip this inside get in front of schneen cloth try to make ourselves a force in that qualifying dash i really just want to slide up on him tried to he just bullied his way around my outside so interesting maybe i should have went all the way to the bottom and really tried to slide up then because i'm really trying to like run his line almost i need to just run our line try to just hook bottom and see what we can do if we get in, up in front of him we get up in front of him but I need to turn in a little later than what that would that corner was pretty good but before I was turning kind of early kind of running a little bit more of a slider line I need to stay super low kind of like Samantha is but I can get like above the tires the AI does not get this low so I can kind of use that to my advantage a little bit we pulled away from everybody else behind us huge but I do think last year when I flipped myself, I want to say I was like in a top 10 spot or just outside. I can't 100% remember where I was, but it was pretty close. Final lap here. I'm going to throw a Hail Mary on Steen Cloth here in three and four. I should have done it last lap. I already destroyed myself on the wall. I'm not going to be able to get to him, but should have done it last lap where I was right on his bumper going into turn three. That was definitely our chance to do it, but I was trying to wait till the last lap, maybe have a better chance at it, but starting 12th in the a main a little tough but don't know who's on pole that's gonna matter a lot because if kylie's up there on pole that's gonna suck for us she looks like she's in seventh so not too far ahead of us right on the inside of schneen cloth up there so they're not too far ahead i just need to try to keep them in range of us so we don't lose too many points in this race if not maybe we can try to gain some points if uh, we're gonna gain that much right off the start there maybe i need to just be more careful on my throttle because like, I'm actually letting off and trying to throttle it a little bit. And that's actually working for us. We're up in the top eight already. Man, if I would have done this in the heat race, maybe we could have been in the qualifying dash. Unfortunate, because we're already by Schneenkloth. Schneenkloth is falling. Seem seems like that top got more and more slicked off, potentially. It just isn't there as much. If I can get up to in front of Kylie, that would be great. I see Mikey's up in the lead, but I'm not too worried about him, because he has had a bad season thus far. So we really need to just worry about Kylie and Schneenkloth at the moment. Up in front of Kylie, perfect. Yeah, that, that top seems to be like going away. Interesting. We're just ripping the bottom really well, I guess. 
18 laps here though kind of a quick one oh we tapped the tire there i saw the front end come up a little bit i think i went right over it with the right front so i do not need that happening i do not need to be flipping in this one because we are actually running very great we don't have any damage on the car yet i don't believe so because i don't think we've hit anybody or anything really so just trying to keep it super clean yeah car is still at 100 i'm as i'm looking up at the uh percentages i get up in the jesse right of course that's what happens when you take your eye off of the the road things go wrong very quick with kylie catching us now that cone is kind of in the way a little bit oh kylie was trying to go three wide there did not know that she had a huge run on jesse right he was messing up the top big time i think if i wouldn't have messed up like the lap before getting up into him then we may have been by him honestly we could have been in fifth at this moment I have my dirt blocking half of my mirror, which is funny. Like, oh, dang it. There's a tire. Luckily, that didn't really affect us too bad. It just, like, tipped us up for a split second. But that's not what I want to see. Do not want to see us hitting those tires like that. I, that's why I upped my ride height to try to avoid that. Looks like the cone might be fixed in the uh, corner now. But Kylie's still behind us, which is good. Nope, cone, cone is in three and four, not one and two. I had my corners mixed up on where the cone was. But we are ripping this bottom the best we can, getting through this lap traffic now. Everybody's basically ripping the bottom up here, and it seems like they were kind of pulling away when they were running the top. Like, we were catching Jesse now that he's down here on the bottom with us. Be a bottom feeder like me, come on. I love running the bottom at this track, especially in these street stocks. Like, it's so fun, but so on edge because you don't know what's gonna happen with the tires down here like you could hit it and then you can go flying or you're just gonna sail right over it like i have been oh as i was gonna say that 90 percent of the time we're gonna say 99 percent of the time and then we smacked it so we're downing it like nine percent but schneencloth and kylie are battling behind us now for that position i kind of hope kylie wins that position just because uh schneencloth is closer to us in points i'd rather get four points on him than two and if we only get two on Kylie, it's not that terrible because she is 20 behind us already. But I know she's the faster one overall also. So kind of it's a double-edged sword on which one I'd rather get that position. But you know what? I want to get this position on Jesse now. I'm stuck on him. And we're just going to rip the top, I guess. Because like I was turning left down that straightaway and it was just hooking together with him. But hey, we got up in front of him. That's a position up to the top five, which is awesome. Let's see if we can... Oh, no, we're not going to catch anybody unless there's a caution. If, we, if there's a caution right now, oh, boy, that'd be huge. Mikey's only on the back stretch. Like, we're not that far behind him after everything, which is huge. So, we're in the top five. Eric Erickson, please move out of my way. I'm just going to not risk the tire this last corner. We're going to come home top five. Schneencloth actually got up in the seventh, so we're still gaining four on him. And we're going to gain six on Kylie as well, which is really nice. So, very good day for us, starting all the way back in, like, 12th. So, big come up for us, and very happy about that. Very solid day. Still going to have the points lead. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if Mikey's starting to catch up. Mikey jumped. Oh, Mikey and Samantha jumped Kylie there. Where did uh, Samantha finish? Uh, she got third? Okay, okay, interesting. Mikey's only 18 behind us, and Samantha is 24 behind us, and Kylie's 26. So, it's a tight points battle. This top five is only 26 points apart, which is pretty wild. Or wait, I have my math wrong, don't I? No, 26 is right. Yeah, I, I, got, I got that right, I'm pretty sure. So Mikey gained uh, 10 on us there, which is huge. But we're going to get a decent payout here once again. Probably about 8,000 once again, which is nice. Oh, 7,200. I have my math off on that one. But 7,200, I'll take that. Let's get on to the showcase at Fairbury, I believe it's going to be. Getting that money, going up to 15K in the bank. Things are getting a little bit worn out, but we're not going to have to worry about it right now for it by any means. Okay, the next skill point goal to get the 410 is 175,000. So big skill skill point gap there where to uh, get the next one. But we're going to have an opportunity to get a new sponsor as well, which I might take up for the initial bonus and just get a little bit less per race. But it'll make it up in the uh, that initial bonus. So getting on the Fairberry here, we finished second here in the season opener. And now we have an upgrade on the car. And Tommy Bailey won that race. Uh, other than that, where is he in points? Honestly, he's sixth in points so not doing great he's 30 back from us which isn't terrible but he was super fast at fairy Ray. there was no catching him but now we do have that upgrade on the suspension so hopefully we'll be quick and we can finish in a top five spot because uh 
the uh, points here. Oh, I thought they would show the points here for on the side, maybe. But the showcase points are worth more. You get like it's more than 150, I think, for the win. I want to say I can't quite remember. I I know the skill points or the race points are differently scaled for each of those. Because actually, what is it down here that some of these people probably got? that have only ran one race it was who was it heath got 140 and he finished in fifth you and 140 is fifth isn't it yeah i got 140 for this race i don't know i know the the showcase points are a lot different so hopefully we can do good here at fairbury and there's a lot of fast people that aren't normally racing full-time that will be up there as well so we need to do our best and be on top of our game all right got down to a 1369 very nice but uh i think our pro qualifying goal is gonna be tougher than that yeah 15 oh that is so tough like i'm like two and a half tenths faster than we were here before i feel like i think on our previous best time but it is tough i even like mess with some spring rates try to go down on like the rear spring rates to see if the car will get a little bit more dig out of it and it kind of does work i was getting faster doing that but I don't know how to get the car super, super fast, but I think I will have good race speed probably. Just have to hit our line good here in, pri in a qualifying, that is. 167 is not too bad. It's only a tenth off of our practice time. It's like a tenth and a half off of that goal, which is not going to put us too far back because there's a lot of heat, and that's going to put us a slower lap. So 15th, not terrible. Third in heat three. Top two or top three advance straight to the feature, but top two will go straight to the qualifying dash. We got Kylie and ours. Dang it. I was hoping for somebody easier, but I think Ned Hill's out front, so he is flying, which is kind of interesting. I think he was pretty fast in the first race, too, if I remember correctly. Let's see if we can try and get in front of Kylie here, getting her to go outside maybe in three and four. Kind of can take advantage of that, getting up in front of her. Because if we could get this position, that would be up to like, what is that? I can't do math in my head right now. That's like six spots. That'd be ninth, maybe. Yeah, we ninth for the uh, qualifying dash. But I keep thinking that there's like five heats, but there's six heats. So there's 12 in the qualifying dash. We'd be in ninth here, which is pretty solid. Trying to chase down Ned Hill if we can. Trying to hold off Kylie if we can, because she had a huge run there on the inside. I had to shut the door on the exit. So I'm trying to run more of this middle line that's a little bit flatter because it seems like I'm a little faster there than running this super inside line when I get on that inside berm. She's starting to rip the outside. We only got two laps left, though. She's got to catch right up to our bumper there in turn one. Ned Hill decides to go to the outside, which I do think the outside is faster for the AI. I can't make it work. I'm like over half a second slower running that top. I'll continue to run this bottom and run my ones and stuff. If the AI want to run the top, I can't do nothing about that unless I'm in front of them. Then I can kind of slide up and block them. But let's go. We're going to get up into the qualifying dash. That is huge. And I didn't even have to, like, completely move her out the way. We just had a good starting spot being on the bottom. So I was able to just get under her on the back stretch. And then she went high and able to stay out in front of her from there on. So that is huge for us. She's not in the qualifying dash, which is nice. Where's Mikey? Mikey's up to four. Oh, no. Mike, Samantha's up in fourth. Mikey's up here, back here in eighth. I don't know if I see Schneen Cloth. We got Ricky Cox behind us. Oh god, we got Cox behind us. That's terrifying. I need to run away. But let's try to get in front of Mikey here. Try to get under him so it makes him go wide and we can maybe get by him in one and two. Not wanting to get attached to him like that, but it worked, I guess. They went three wide behind us. Mikey was stuck in the middle there, and so he's actually gonna lose some spots. I actually think he's kept his way on the bottom. No, that's actually Carson. Vanden top that ended up on the bottom there another Vanden top out in front of us that is tanner cam jurens is right ahead of us the other jurens brandon jurens is up there but i don't see schneencloth out here as well so that's a positive i see samantha bell and what fourth up there fifth fifth that is but they're battling hard for like third fourth fifth sixth seventh all right in front of us pretty tight we'll see if uh they end up getting any more spots out of this we moved up one from this entire qualifying dash so far. Mikey is currently straight behind us. I'm trying to hold him off. Because uh, if if we fall back to him, he could probably fall back on the start of the race. But honestly, I just want to start eighth because I can probably get under Cam Jurens right on the start. 
with us being on the outside of him, and we are gonna hold off Mikey, which is huge, so hopefully we can just keep him behind us the entire race. Try to not lose any points to him, because he is only 18 behind us. Who's out front? Heath's out front, not a full-time driver. Ned's a full-time driver, but nowhere near us in points. Brandon, Adam, not full-time driver. Samantha's a full-time driver, and Cam is a full-time driver. Samantha is somewhat close to us in points, like 20-something back. So let's get on into the A main here. I think it's a 24-lap race, I want to say. So got a long one here for the showcase. And we just need to try and do our best here. Try to get down to the bottom right away. Get under Cam Jurens. Get him to cycle to the outside. Get that spot right away. That is perfect. Try and hug the bottom. I got my cat yelling at me now with a toy in his mouth. You probably see him walking on by behind me. <laughs> I think it's his whole stick and uh, ball toy. Like, it's a ball with like... It looks like an octopus almost, like it has fluffy like legs on it and it's on a stick so I can just like swing it around and they'll freak out about it. But he likes to drag it around and then yell at me to throw it because they like to play fetch. I cannot do that right now, buddy. Because I saw him in the uh, camera on my right screen while I'm recording, walk by behind me. A little distracting, but you know what? We're out here, we're, we're gooning on the bottom, we're doing good. Getting up into the top five there. Samantha is the only full-time driver in front of us now, and that's by two spots. They're ripping that outside. Unless we have a restart, I don't know if we're going to catch them. Might catch Brandon, because he's running the bottom. Not if I run the bottom like that, though. That bottom was terrible that I had. But Cam Jordan's behind us. Mikey right behind him. Mikey's been following us on through these cars. I need to run my line. I need to stop running so low. Run a little bit wider. There we go. Get on this flat portion. They might have a little bit of run behind us, but they're not going to get under you unless they dive it in the corner, which is a possibility. So I got to block it off a little bit. And now we pull away some. Perfect. That's what I need. I need to just run my line here in this middle lane so where it stays a little flat. We are faster there than we were the first handful of laps because I feel like I'm catching Brandon up here and Samantha. She's running the bottom as well now. But Brandon... I'm hoping can get by Samantha and force her up the track potentially when the lap traffic's getting to them. Because Adam's up in the lead right now. He is flying. He won the uh, first showcase of our street stock career at Kokomo, the first one last year. He kind of sucked in uh, this year's Kokomo, which was kind of shocking. He was like, I think behind us, I think he was like, I want to say he was like eighth or something. Like he did not have a good run at all, but Brandon gets out in front of Samantha. That's a two point or a four point swing, something like that. So that is huge. Very good for us. I'm very happy about that. Ned Hill also got by Mikey back there, which is huge. I just don't want to see Mikey, Schneenclaw, uh, Kylie, and Samantha is the only other one that's tight with us. I think those are the top five. Mikey's now getting back into seventh, but Ned, I think is ripping that outside getting that momentum we're doing our best here trying to catch up to Samantha as they're catching some lap traffic here the lap traffic could play an interesting fact in this I need to keep the car straighter than that I just threw it in there way too sideways in the turn one there we go much smoother three and four seems like Samantha had like a speed boost there off the corner trying our best they're definitely pulling away now that's unfortunate. And I'm just trying to get to the end of this lap traffic right now and not let Cam catch us. Get inside of Brooks. Slid up too much. They're going to get back inside me, aren't they? Yep, that's unfortunate. And I'm smacking the wall there. Just rip this middle lane. I need to get in front of Brooks here. So Cam cannot get under us. Okay, we're good now. Hopefully Cam gets slowed up by her too. Try to get inside of Richardson. Oh, we get a caution. I was not expecting that at all. I wonder if, oh, Cam fell all the way back to ninth. I think him and Brooks might've gotten together. Oh, we, this is interesting. We're in fifth here. We might be able to get under Samantha here and try and get by her. How many laps are left? There's like six laps left. That's kind of wild. I was not expecting a caution. Get up, hit Samantha a little bit. I just really want to be on her inside going into three. Pause. That's a massive pause. But 
Might be able to get by Heath up here as well, which would be massive too. Mikey followed us on through by Sam. So that's unfortunate. Kind of wish that he was stuck on the outside to start with because he could have lost some spots right away maybe. That would have been a lot more helpful, but I think he started on the bottom because Cam fell back so far. So that's a little unfortunate. We are pulling away from Mikey though. We're kind of keeping up with Heath and them, but it's the long run that they get me on. I'm really good on that short like one, two lap run for a restart. But hey, everyone in front of us is not a full-time driver. This is the best that this could be going if uh, if we're in fourth. There's, everyone in front of us is a only showcase driver. So we can only gain points on everybody behind us. And that is perfect with me because Mikey had a huge week last week. We can gain a couple points back on him. Kylie, I actually hope, comes up and uh, gets in front of Mikey. That would be really nice because she is struggling in the points now, back to like fifth in points overall, which is completely different than what she was last year. She had three wins last year, but hey, we finished in fourth, had a super strong episode here, and that is gonna keep us in the points lead for the end of this one. Kylie, the Ned, Samantha, where did uh, Ricky Cox 14th? Huge, Schneencloth got 20th. Oh, he's out of the points. He is way out of the points there, so that is awesome. Let's go see how far back he is, because that is a huge difference there. We finished fourth. What is the points? I thought the points were different for showcases. I really thought so. I thought like they, they were worth a lot more, but I guess not. I don't know what's going on with that uh, in this se season. I thought they were like significantly different. Like there were five points difference each one or something like that. But either way, we gained two points on Mikey and four on Kylie and then eight on Samantha, which is nice. Schneencloth fell all the way to fifth from second. That is huge. We're 20 points ahead of Mikey with four races left in the season. 30 ahead of Kylie, 32 ahead of Samantha. That is huge. So going on to the last four races is going to be big. Get a pretty decent payout there over 10K easily. And uh, we will move on to next episode and we'll go recap this one. All right. That's going to get us over $26,000. Very, very nice. And we don't need to repair anything for now, which is really good. So we're, we have a 20 point lead over Mikey with these last four races in play. So, oh, we, oh wait, uh, current sponsor is this. We'll get an initial payout of 100, which isn't anything because we're not getting any initial payout staying with them and more per race. Might as well switch back over to them. Pretty sure we were on them. And then I did that switch over last season for that initial payout and the initial payout's worth it for sure. So if uh, we get that again at the end of the season, I'll end up doing that once again. But that will be really nice. Uh, that 20 point uh, advantage we have going in these last four races is going to be huge. We were fast here at Grant Park last year, so I'm looking to try to win that. Kokomo, we finished sixth in the uh, showcase. Who was ahead of us? Actually, we were fifth out of the full time drivers because Heath was the only not full-time driver. So that's gonna be a tough one. Uh, Prairie View, we were okay at last year. And then Eldora, we kind of really struggled with last year. We got like 15th. So hopefully with our suspension upgrade, we'll be faster and all that. We're probably not gonna have to get the chassis upgrade. And hopefully we can try to win the championship this year. It's gonna be tight, but it's gonna be a fun season to finish out. So I'm really excited for that. Hopefully we can gain a little bit more points uh, going into Eldora, because I'm really worried about Eldora because we did really bad last year. So hopefully you guys enjoyed appreciate you guys for watching as always and following along with the career this has been a ton of fun i've had a ton of support with all you guys watching so really really appreciate it this game's been a lot of fun just like the previous one and uh this one's having a lot of uh love for it as well which i'm really enjoying so really enjoying the career mode seems like a lot of you guys are as well can't wait to get on the more and more series and hopefully you guys stay interested in following the career so hopefully you guys enjoyed appreciate you guys for watching as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one